Amen. Wow. I tried telling you, you don't listen. Sorry, Tozi. Uh. Oh. Big brother, I gracefully bow out. Whoa! Honestly, it felt as though Figge gave the whole of Africa the same endurance test that he gave to the housemate. The only difference is we don't have a plate and a ball in our hand. Secondly, <laughs> we're not getting any prize at the end of all this wahala. Yes. <laughs> but guys, I'm tired. I'm tired. I can imagine how many people did not sleep, guys. It's hectic. It's crazy. This is the most difficult, difficult veto power gameplay. No, ultimate veto power gameplay I have ever witnessed in the history of Big Brother. Guys, honestly, let me just have some tea. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankie Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Listen, before I go any further, let me just first of all give a shout out to those of you who were able to stay awake all through the night. Trust me, you guys are strong, but not as strong as Tato. Guys, Tato shocked me. Honestly, Tato shocked me. I did not think Tato was going to be able to stand for over eight hours. I think it was over 10 hours even. To stand and endure such pain. Oh my days, guys. Oh my days. Listen, I was so amazed. I was wild. I was wild. I was shocked, actually. I was shocked. Honestly, for lack of a better word, I was just shocked. And also the fact that Sister Mara and Temba are still standing. Guys, to be very frank with you, I'm not surprised. I am not. Because Biggie already, by virtue of a house task, has given us a hint into the strength and, you know, um, should I say, endurance level of these two people. If you all cast your mind back to the week when um, they played a game of, um, is it, can you stand it? I think that's the name of the game. When all the housemates have been positioned on the deck, you know, in a circle position. Yeah, they had been instructed to stand till the last man or woman standing emerges the winner. They had all done it. Now, most of the housemates, they did not take it serious at all. Yes, I mean, I think it was Tools or Yuli that was the first to give in. Yeah, but then, towards the end of that particular task, um, Vino and Sister Mara, they had battled it out. I think that was week five. They had battled it out and Vino stayed. He stayed, yeah, because he was actually trying to prove to Sister Mara that, listen, you're not the only competitive person in this house. I am also competitive. But then he had buckled in and Sister Mara had emerged the winner. So when Biggie introduced to the top four veto power gameplay qualifiers, um, the game that they were going to play to, you know, emerge as the ultimate veto power order, guys, I already knew that <laughs> we were in for trouble because it was going to be a very, very stiff competition. Sister Mara is very, very competitive. He will not want to give up easily. Timber as well is also very, very competitive. It's only a difference of him not being very, very vocal about it, him not being very, very expressive about it. But he is a silent, heavyweight competitor. But before I go ahead to explain how Tools and Tato lost out of the game, let me first of all go ahead and read out Biggie's instructions. Guys, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. So Biggie called this game the endurance game. Now, there were so many rules. Yes. First off, the housemates were to stand holding a plate with a ball inside a tennis ball in a box hole on the, on the floor. Now, they are not to move out of that box hole and also they are not to drop the tray. The ball must not fall. If the ball falls, that housemate is automatically disqualified. They must not swap their hands. According to Big Brother, the hand that they use to hold the tray, if it is their right hand or their left hand, that is the hand that they are going to use. Until they are tired and decide to opt out of the game, they are not to use any part of their body to support the tray. Their second hand should not touch the tray. Only in the palm of their hand should the tray be held, meaning they cannot hold the tray like this, but like this. 
Also, there will be no bathroom breaks. And so before they started, Big Brother had given them the chance to go and use the bathroom to either pee or do whatever they wanted to do because once they started, they would not be able to leave that square box. Um, also, they can drink water. Yes, other housemates can assist them in getting water or food or whatever. They can drink water, yeah, but they can only use their free hand to drink the water by themselves. The housemates cannot feed them the water. They have to use their own hand to collect the water and drink it. Um, Big Brother also said that any housemate that disregards the rules will be disqualified. Now, tools really cracked me up. You know, there's something about tools. Sometimes his confidence gets the best of him, yes. So when they started, um, they were having conversations and it was very obvious that um, tools did not really pay attention to the instructions. Because oh, I even forgot to mention that Biggie provided an image of um, how to hold the tray in their hand. And Biggie had also mentioned that the only way they can hold that tray without breaking the rules is by following the picture that he had displayed for them. So I don't know if Tools did not hear that part. He was the one that first started bringing up conversations. They were talking, gisting, laughing, just to lighten up the mood, probably to also distract themselves from the excruciating pain that was beginning to build up in their legs, in their hands, in every part of their body. But then Tools was overdoing it. He was doing too much. He started turning around inside that box. And then he was now asking them, oh, what was the rule again? The big brother said we should turn or not? And I'm like, dude, you're playing for the ultimate veto power title and you are not listening and you can't even remember the instructions. And then before we knew it, he had turned and turned that kind of, guys, that was how big brother disqualified tools. So halfway through, I think just 30 minutes into the game, that was how tools lost. It was so annoying, a very, very pathetic, loss to be very frank with you all and then after a long test of our endurance level guys tattoo finally buckled in after eight to ten hours of standing and holding that plate with the ball in it guys i i, I respect respect to tattoo tattoo bought my respect 100 percent i mean guys as i said at the beginning of this video i was shocked i did not think she could do it however there were certain things that gashron was doing and i was particularly scared for Tato. Yes, he was trying to encourage her and I appreciated him for that. He was motivating her, you know, oh, baby, I'm here. Are you okay? You know, giving her hints and tips on how to still stand and not buckle in. However, there was a point where he went to go and get um, a blanket to come and cover her feet against all the mosquitoes. And I was scared that, dude, you are literally setting this girl up for a problem with Big Brother. She might be disqualified because of this. You know, but later the blanket was removed. I think it was after Tools was disqualified. And I'm like, dude, just allow her play a game by herself. But then guys, sadly, she did not emerge the ultimate veto power holder as she got tired. Yes. And by the time she was done, guys, oh my God, her hand was swollen. Her hand was swollen. Her veins were blue. She was so exhausted. She couldn't really even walk properly. Her hand was literally falling down. Like she could not even lift her hand properly. She had to go and sleep. And so even this morning, thank God, Big Brother pardoned her to not join the other housemates in the arena for their workout. Yes, because she totally needed that sleep. Whilst all of this was going on, Terry was busy pissing me off. Like guys, I felt like carrying my slippers and throwing it at Terry through my screen because I don't understand. It's as if sometimes some of these housemates, they are extremely ignorant of the fact that they are in a competition. They're in Biggie's house. In Biggie's house, it's Biggie's rules. You cannot di dictate what happens. Biggie says, go here, you go here. Biggie says, sit down here, you sit down here because you already signed a disclaimer to be in Biggie's house and to adhere to the rules and regulations of the house. So what, is, what exactly is Terry's problem again? Biggie gave Libo a task, a secret task, giving him specific instructions, an example of items that should be taken from his fellow housemates. Personal items, using Tools' um, brown jersey as an example. The reason Biggie used that jersey as an example, I believe, is that it, ha it holds a personal meaning, a personal value to Tools. And so Libo stuck to the brief and he delivered. And then yesterday, Lawrence, in a very unprofessional manner, you know, exposed Libo to the rest of the housemates. I call it unprofessional manner because he should have gone ahead to explain that Big Brother was the one that gave Libo a secret task with specific instructions. But he did not. 
So he kind of put fire in the house like that. If that was his own way of causing some drama and breaking tables, well, it did not really, really work at all. It didn't really get the right effect. So it was so annoying that Mpo just broke down crying. In my mind, I'm like, nah, that is a very manipulative thing to do. Knowing fully well that Libo did not intentionally do that. I mean, a lot of people are arguing that, oh, Libo was intentional. Libo went too far. Eh? And then she was giving the example of, oh, if he was a Christian or a Muslim that was in the house, would they take the person's Bible? Hell yes, they will. Because it's biggest house and it's biggest rules and it's a secret task. What the hell? I mean, Mpo was crying, then Terry decided to become Mpo's warrior and started attacking Libo, saying all manner of things. And what really pissed me off the most was that she was loud. She was making all that noise. She was saying all those things to Libo, blah, 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 blah. Right where the, the, the other four housemates were fighting for the position of the ultimate veto power title. She was so... It was so selfish of her, guys, because all that noise she was making could have easily, could have easily, easily distracted any of those other housemates to buckle into the pressure. But then she was so myopic and selfish about it, making all that noise, attacking Libo for nothing. But then finally, Sister Mara buckled into the pressure, into the pain. He could no longer handle it. And that was how he bowed out gracefully, dropping the plate and walking up to Temba and saying, Temba, I can't do this anymore, take it. Oh my God, guys, I lost it. I was super excited. I was super excited. Guys, listen, this is a huge win for Temba. And I am saying right now, congratulations to Temba on emerging the ultimate veto power holder. Guys, I am so excited. More excited because I cannot wait to see the two people that Temba will be choosing to go with him into the finals. Guys, we're talking about an automatic access into the top five or top four or whatever plans Biggie has. Guys, this is going to be crazy. So let's imagine it this way. Imagine Temba picks Libo and Tools. Hey, my God. <laughs> hey, guys, imagine that. Imagine that. This is going to be crazy. But you know what? I'm just so excited right now. Let me just let me just leave it to you or let me know your thoughts um, about this win for Temba in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video shortly. Bye.